Hey guys, it's Real Rabman here, back at it again with another video, and here we go, NASCAR Career Part 2. Let's get right into it. The all-new Quick Stop races require each car to visit the pit lane at least once to meet the race objective, shaking up the race order and introducing a new level of strategy to every race. Choosing a smart Quick Stop strategy can make the difference between taking a place on the podium or finishing behind your competitors. Take your quick stop early to have traffic-free racing, or wait for the race action to unfold and use a late stop strategy. Pay attention to the updated HUD that shows how many stops are required, which drivers have used their quick stop, and where to enter the pits. This will be your first quick stop event. Remember to use your HUD indicators to help plan your quick stop strategy and locate the pit entrance. I think I'll be able to locate the pit entrance here at Road America, or Road Atlanta, or whatever the hell this track is called. I keep fucking it up. I think it's Road Atlanta. Whatever. I don't care. care. Anyways, 3, 2, 1, let's go again off to another terrible start, because I just cannot get off to good starts. And we're all checking up here in front of me. I do not know where to go. Heading into turn 1, this is going to be very interesting. I'm not going to be that aggressive going in, but neither is anyone else. Apparently, we're all going to slow up like hell. Uh, what up, Ricky Rudd in the 28 custom paint scheme? I will see you later. And we're going through turn 2 on the outside of Hamlin here, and I am sliding way off the fucking... Wow, that was... Okay, no, 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 uh... Yes, we are using the rewind feature because I want to use it pretty much. So let's redo this entire second turn. Uh, let's get through here much better. And there are cards way off the track. What the fuck? Here comes Jamie McMurray across the fucking track. Oh my god. We just avoided that one. Um, it looks like Forza can't keep the AI on the track because they are going all over the fucking place. We are somehow in fourth place. I, I don't even know how, honestly. But here we go into a sharp turn three, and my car is understeering like a bitch. Now, guys, I do want to remind you, I do not have any traction control or steering control on, or apparently brakes because I can't fucking brake. Uh, this game makes these cars don't—they don't feel like a ton. They feel like three tons. It's pretty bad. And there goes Hamlin way off in the grass, and now we're in P2 somehow. Um, adventurous, adventurous race so far, and now I'm going off into the gravel. Um, th this is basically a survival of the fittest race. I come back onto the track, and now we are back in P6, moving on through this right-hander that reminds me a lot of the carousel at Watkins Glen, but we are sliding across, okay, there we go, keep going, we have a chance to win this race, if I just am able to, ooh, okay, able to get a consistent lap going i don't really know this track that well and without knowing the handling of the cars either this is really tough to kind of get a feel for the, the car and a feel for the track and get the braking points right right now i'm just completely guessing at the moment so i'm going to try to focus here and i will let you guys listen to that engine sound god fucking damn it uh there goes the cones i'm going to drift all the way through here we're going to get back on the track and let me focus here so I could actually maybe hit my fucking breaking points while some of the AI I think will pit. So let's go. Alright, we completed this second lap and now I'm coming off, sliding off that corner. We're going to come into the pits. Very interested to see how pit road is going to go. I'm going to try to slow down here. There we go. And, okay, this is pretty cool. We have a little dashboard telling us, I think, where all the other cars are, where we are. Uh, pit in is about 1,300 feet away. While we lackadaisically just wait. And is there a sequence? Oh, that's kind of... Oh, we don't even get to see the pit crew. That's kind of sad. Um, I was hoping we'd maybe... See, oh, that was a quick-ass pit stop for an NASCAR. Oh, I've been ghosting, too. Um, I was Maybe I was hoping we could see the, uh, maybe a pit crew stop but I guess Forza did not want to do that. So let's keep going 200 feet away. I'm interested to see where I'm going to come out. to be third place. I'm going to be spinning off this start. Let's get past Kenseth here. Come on. Shift in a third. Let's go on the inside. I think we have him here. We're going to clear him right there. 
And now I think we have to go catch... That looks like... I'm trying to tell from a distance. Edwards? It looks like Edwards up there. Okay, whoa, Kenseth. Hi, buddy. Hey, man, I appreciate the contact. Uh, Kenseth just moves us out of the way. I will make sure I go get him back here in a second. Here, kitty, 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 you want some of my fucking bumper right here, boy? Oh, I'm sliding, I'm sliding, I'm sliding. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Uh, I made a turn. I'm gonna make the pass right here because the AI do slow up. We're gonna go on the outside. I'm gonna slide through the grass. Holy shit! Dirt tracking it. Dirt tracking it. Okay, we got, we got away with that. That was pretty awesome though. Uh, dirt tracking our way through that high speed corner, coming down the straightaway. I'm guessing on my braking points. Yeah, we're gonna use the rerun feature. Um, I completely missed my fucking braking point there. So let's do this again. I have no idea where to break. I'm just completely guessing. I think it was like with those two signs. Uh, but here we go. I think I see someone coming on my inside due to the markers, but it is okay. Kitty, 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 come get you some. We got a great run going in and off of that corner, coming into the right hander under the Speedville fucking sign. And here we go. We're going to get a run here. I am trying to carry momentum off the corner, but the car keeps sliding out from under me, and we're going to pull the same move. I'm going to pull the same move I pulled on Matt Kenseth. Hopefully, I don't go through the grass this time. There we go. The move is done, and we have the lead on the final lap it should be cruise control from here let me just make sure i hit my braking markers can we get that and nope nope i overshot that again because i am horrible but we have the lead coming off into the penultimate turn sliding all the way around and here we go final corner here at road atlanta Coming through, and is I still don't know if it's Road Atlanta or Road America. Uh, maybe one of you guys are gonna have to kind of tell me on that because I have no idea. It's one of the two, but we take the victory here at Road either Atlanta or America in the number 24. Chase Elliott, let's get it. At very high speeds, vehicle aerodynamics become incredibly important to victory. As a race car moves faster and faster, more power is required to push through the wall of air. By driving close behind a lead car, a following driver can stay out of turbulent or dirty air, reducing aerodynamic drag and making it easier to maintain or even increase their speed as they prepare to pass. Experience the draft with all cars moving together when the race begins. Remember to use your HUD indicators to help be more aware of the cars around you The high speeds around this oval are going to push your car's aerodynamics to the limit. Draft an opponent to get to the front of the pack, then choose your moment to pass. I will always say this about Forza, the game looks beautiful. I love the way Daytona looks in this game, it is fantastic. Now the previous couple of races I feel like have been maybe a little too easy. I'm not really sure what I should do here if I should move the drive hard difficulty to unbeatable or to pro but I think I'm gonna go with unbeatable and let's see what we can do here at Daytona I'm not expecting the drafting to be very good uh, but hey you never know um, let's just see what can happen in this race three two one off to another terrible start I'm just gonna say that every single time because I will never get a good start in this game Drafting off of Denny Hamlin, getting up to speed. Slipstream is already OP. Holy shit. Whoa. Checking up in front of me. Checking up. Uh, I have a big gap to the guys behind me, and they're already slowing down. I'm already into fifth place. What the hell? All right, so Forza's already fucked up. Uh, fifth place now. We're going to push Hamlin here. 
Gonna go on the outside of Hamlin. I barely touched him and I have damage on the front of my car for some reason. I don't know why. But let's see what we can do. I feel like I'm catching these guys very quickly. Um, and they're running the high line like it's qualifying for some reason. And cars are pulling away. Yeah, this uh, um, Forza, you I don't think you got the whole point of pack racing. Uh, this isn't pack racing. <laughs> I'm out here acting like Billy Elliot when they had no restrictor plates on the car. I'm going 210 miles per hour into the first turn. What the hell is going on? Um, this is absolutely ridiculous. Holy shit. I've decided to slow down for the guys behind me just to see like what the whole game is, is like because I'm going way too fast for these guys. I literally, it's like I don't have a restrictor plate on my fucking car, and they do. It's, I, I don't know what is going on. Um, I might have a mod. I, I don't know, like, it's like 7% engine or something. I need to take that off, because this is kind of ridiculous. But let's see. I want to test out how the drafting in this game works. So I'm going to get right behind Jamie Mack here. I'm going to see if I can push him past uh, first place here. So let's get right up close. I'm going to go my hook cam here for a second just to go push him. And here we go. He's going to go on the inside. I'm going to push him here. Let's see if he will go by. And he's not. Nope, nope. He, he's not going anywhere. He ain't going anywhere. He doesn't want to go anywhere. I don't know. I don't really know why. But uh, he did not want to go past. I hit the wall there for a little bit. Um, we are just seeing how the drafting works. Um, I, You know, I, I will say... I'm pretty sure NASCAR Heat Evolution will be better than this because it is a NASCAR game dedicated to NASCAR. But Forza, that I mean, the game looks great. <laughs> I'll, I'll give it that. And Daytona looks great, and the car itself um, feels pretty nice in the restrictor plate. But uh, I'm going way too fast, and the AI cannot respond to my bump drafting. Come on, Jimmy Mac, go ahead. Come on, let's go. Come on, buddy. Come on. Nope, he is not. Um, no holy fuck! What the hell? What the fuck? Oh my fucking god! What the f? Whoa! What is going on? Did some? Did they wreck? Oh my god! I'm 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 shaking! Holy god! Whoa! 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 Th that that reminded me of Homestead. That that reminded me of Homestead, a first race where I think it was Hamlin sitting in the middle of the track and I scraped him going a hundred and eighty miles per hour while he was sitting at zero. That could have been deadly, but it is okay. We are still alive. But now I'm in first. I'm going to let up again. Let Jamie Mack go by. Um, it's just, I kind of want to test the drafting. That's really all I want to do. But I can already tell that it's not really going to work. But hey, let's see how fast we can go. Am I faster by myself, or are we faster with two cars? So let's see. I am actually faster by myself. It's just kind of sad. I'm trying to push Jamie Mac, and he just—it just doesn't work. And let's see. Oh, I'm about to wreck him. Oh, wait, there's a car right there. Oh, two more, two more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's back off. Okay. Um, we're lapping cars within seven laps at Daytona. And oh, and they're ghosting too. Wow. Forza, you continue to amaze me. They just ghosted right through first place. Okay. Um, let's just go back to pushing Jamie Mack and seeing if we have any kind of fun here. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll try online, um, and see if Daytona Racing is better there. But, uh, obviously pack racing with the AI do not work, and Jamie Mack just doesn't want it. And he's pitting in a race where you don't have to pit. So I'm pretty sure I have the wind locked up here. I'm really sick of this damn music. Can we turn that off? That's, that's better. There we go. Turned it off. 20 years of trying. 20 years of frustration. Dale Earnhardt will come to the caution flag to win the Daytona 500. Finally. Every time I win a race at Daytona, I always think of that, that uh, comment by Mike Joy. One of the best 
calls to finish a race ever. Uh, it was just amazing, and I always I always think about it whenever I race at Daytona. So that's why I just decided to say it. It was in my mind. But um, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. I'm gonna end this episode here. More career mode on this game is coming because I love NASCAR, and even though this game doesn't fully give me the NASCAR experience, it does give it to me somewhat. So I will continue. Make sure if you are new to please like and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys later. So peace out.